And we are back with Sarah Bowling. She's the author of Heavenly Help, Experiencing the Holy Spirit in Everyday Life. Just kind of share with us, Sarah, some of the practical ways in which the Holy Spirit empowers us. Because, you know, sometimes we kind of just leave him for Sunday mornings, speaking in tongues, you know, the emotionalism or that comes along with the excitement of having his presence in our lives. But you say it's so much more than that. Sure. Mm -hmm. And the first story I tell is about my son who was four. And uh, I was trying to get my daughter to the uh, doctor. It was Friday afternoon, late in the afternoon. She's complaining of an earache, you know, and I'm thinking infection, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't want the whole weekend to go with, you right. know, I'm like freaking out. I can't find my insurance card, can't find my purse. And I'm like, <gasps> you know, it's getting worse and later and worse. I can't find it, can't find it. So I have my kids all loaded in the car, car seats, all this stuff. And I'm like, Help! you know, and my son, who's four, super level, he yells and he says, stop. I'm like, stop, <laughs> nothing. We got to find this. And he said, stop and listen. I was like, listen to what? <laughs> listen to the Holy Spirit and he will show you where mm -hmm. your person is. Like, wow. Oh my goodness, and that's exactly what I did. I sat in the car, I said, okay. And I listened and I felt the Holy Spirit say, it's at the, you took the kids for ice cream, it's at the ice cream shop. So I called them up and sure enough, they're like, yep, we got this purse here, if it's a description, come on by. Wow. I oh know. my goodness. I know, it's unbelievable. You would still be looking for that purse Seriously, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> so I ran over there, picked it up, got the daughter to the you know doctor and everything and everything was fine. But that's just super mm -hmm. practical. And, and I have teenage kids now. Oh, uh, yes. And so I need help <laughs> all the time, all right? Self-control, fruit of the Spirit. Right. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Love, joy, peace. Oh, yeah. Kind of talk more about that because that's the evidence of it. I mean, you know, sure. a lot of people think after you speak in tongues, that's just it. Check the box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And I see it as so much more. I see the Holy Spirit moving to help me with my kids. You know, what do I do? And I pray, Holy Spirit... Lead me into truth, because there mm -hmm. can be some smoke screens with them, right? Mm -hmm. And they do yes. some kind of like little shady stuff. So I ask the Holy Spirit, show me what's going on. And then I'll start to tell them, hey, you know, I think you're doing this and this. Well, how'd you know? <laughs> and I'm like, just don't think that I don't talk to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit tells me stuff. I listen, and I'm going to be on your, on your case with this. I'm not going to let this kind of mm -hmm. shady get, get lost in the weeds. So that's a way. With my husband. You know, like, and that go the extra mile. Because sometimes I don't want to go the extra mile, right? Mm -hmm. But the Holy Spirit's like, come on, Sarah. Lean into me and I'll give you strength. I'll give you power. And I'll give you faithfulness and steadfast. And, and you'll be, I want you to be kind. And so, wow, that's, mm -hmm. I totally need help with that. Mm -hmm. I need help, you know, I talked about having a concussion. Uh, trying to minister, you know, I preached yesterday and trying to minister and, and keep your thoughts coherent. Mm -hmm. I'm asking the Holy Spirit all the time, please help me. Because obviously they don't need me, they need, they they need, need you. you. Yeah. So fill my mouth, keep my <coughs> thoughts together, keep, keep the wheels on the bus. <laughs> Sarah, you mentioned that uh, one of the desires for Heavenly Help, one of the purposes to allow people or ins inspire people to get closer and a deeper relationship with the Holy Spirit. How does that happen? So I think, first of all, not just doing the whole supernatural, like freaky, and, and also I think as well, sometimes when we say Holy Spirit, instantly when we say spirit, everything gets misty, mm -hmm. right? And kind of esoteric and cloudy. Ugh. But what I want to help people see is that the Holy Spirit is our ever-present help. And so when I'm in the grocery store and reminding me to do things, when I'm walking, and then not just in those practical things, but also in the deep part of my heart. Mm -hmm. You know, and really settling into uh, the presence of the Holy Spirit and letting the Holy Spirit be that close companion, closer than anybody else in my life mm -hmm. and helping me in some of those deep places. So, Sarah, when a person comes to faith in Christ, is that when the Holy Spirit enters that person's heart? Um, so my question to you is, does every believer have the Holy Spirit? Absolutely. I don't know how you can receive Jesus without the help of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And Jesus breathed on them, John 20, 25, receive the Holy Spirit. So they had the Holy Spirit before Pentecost ever came. They absolutely had the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, wait till you be endued with power. So there's a, a power expression. But when we receive Jesus, I don't think... It's a trinity, right? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I don't think they cut off little pieces and parts, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, and they stay together. 
but I think there's a fullness to, the, to our lives and from the Holy Spirit that we can walk in, and that's what I want this book to help people do, mm -hmm. is to walk in that fullness and broader context for the Holy Spirit in their lives. Now, you mentioned uh, John 14, 15, 16. It all came as you were finding and discovering for yourself while teaching a small group. Uh, does, is Heavenly Help set up to kind of minister in small groups you and use betcha. As, as a content? You betcha. At the end of every chapter, there's questions, study guide questions. And so you can do this in a small group, book club, Bible studies, you know, Sunday school classes. It's super helpful for that and great conversational questions and insightful thoughts to mm -hmm. think about. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to have you back again, Sarah. So <laughs> to connect with Sarah, go to sarahbolin.me or go to harvest-tv.com for a link to her new project is called Heavenly Help, Experiencing the Holy Spirit in Everyday Life. Coming up later with your prayer request is, uh, we have your prayer request and Pastor Mark Lance with today's Motivational Minute. We'll be right back.